Welcome to today's interview session on Apache Kafka. Let's dive right in. How do you scale Kafka for high availability and fault tolerance? All right. So the primary method to scale Kafka for high availability and fault tolerance is by setting up a Kafka cluster with multiple brokers. This ensures that even if a broker fails, the others can continue serving client requests. Additionally, using a replication of topics across multiple brokers ensure data durability and high availability. That's a good start. You mentioned replication. How does Kafka ensure that the data is consistent across replicas? Kafka uses a leader follower model for replicas. For each partition of a topic, one broker acts as the leader handing all reads and writes, while the other act as followers, replicating the data. If the leader fails, one of the followers is promoted to be the new leader. This ensures data consistency as only the leader serves client request for the partition. Great. Can you explain the significance of the X and min and sync replicas configurations in this context? Certainly. X is a producer configuration that dictates the acknowledgement criteria for a message being considered as sent. An X value of zero means the producer does not wait for acknowledgement. Okay. One, if the value is one, means it waits for the leader's acknowledgement. And the value is minus one, which is for meaning all, means it waits for acknowledgement for all replicas. So this considered to be complete. Nicely explained. So, with multiple brokers in place, how does Kafka manage and balance the distribution of data? Yes, let me explain you. Kafka uses a concept called partition for topics. By splitting a topic into multiple partitions, Kafka can distribute these partitions across multiple brokers. This not only adds in parallelism, but also help in load balancing. When new brokers are added to a cluster, Kafka can be reconfigured to move some partition to the new broker using tools like the Kafka reassign partition. That makes sense. Now, what happens when a broker goes down? How does Kafka handle failover? Yes, let me explain you. When a broker goes down, its partitions become unavailable. That is correct. However, if those partitions were replicated, the followers could still serve the data. And Kafka Zookeeper integration keeps track of broker failures. So, in the event of a leader broker failure, if it is a leader and fail, Zookeeper initiate a leader election among the follower replicas and a new leader is chosen, ensuring that the data remains. Last question for today. As we discuss scaling and availability, how do you monitor the health and performance of a Kafka cluster? Yes, in general, monitoring and alerting is the most useful technique for managing any system. Now, let me explain you for your question. Monitoring is also here. Monitoring is a crucial for Kafka's smooth operation. Tools like JMX alongside monitoring tool solution like Prometheus or Grafana are commonly used. Here also, key metrics to monitor include broker uptime, under replicated partitions, requested request rates, and latency. These are the uptime, under replicated partition, requested rates, and latency. Alerts, also the same way, alerts can be set up for anomalies, ensuring timely intervention when issues arises. Thank you. Thank you for completing this video. And I hope that you definitely have learned something which will help you in your system design interview. Hope to see you in next video with new concept and skills needed for the system design interview. By then, keep learning, keep improving and keep sharing your knowledge because even if it helps one person, it will be worth sharing with mankind.